Right, it is match day. We are at home to West Ham, big game. I'm rushing to get into the ground because I'm late. But um, for Fana's debut, I feel sorry for him. It's probably one of the worst lineups I've seen in a long time. Um, Gallagher, Loftus, Cheek, Kovacic, due to be in the midfield. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it's going to be like. To be honest, the formation's a bit funny all the time, so I'm not sure myself. But uh, probably Pulisic and Sterling up front by themselves, playing a two system. I think that's smelly because Pulisic was probably one of the worst cameos I'd seen since Bakayoko in the last game. So I, I'm not, I'm not expecting much today. So we'll see. But um, I've got to go with a prediction. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a one-one. I can't see us winning this game. We've been so stinky. So we'll see. Nil nil at the break. I could have fell asleep here. It's been very stale. Uh, Seventy percent possession. Very comfy in possession. No chances. Zero shots on target from both sides. Uh, nothing much to really report. Been a very boring half. Just can't create nothing in there. Gallagher's playing in that bit more free free, free roaming role in the attack. But we just can't seem to get anything going. They're sitting quite low. Can't really conjure the spaces on the edge of the box, getting shots off. Struggling at the apartment. But uh, yeah, really boring. Nothing much to report on. No threats really from, from West Ham. A couple balls in the channels. A couple crosses, of flash crosses across the goal. But nothing really dangerous. But yeah, still nothing from us. Zero shots on target from both sides. And that's it really. No really standout performances. I can't say much about a lot of players. So yeah, gonna have to see for the next six the second half. Better pick up because boy, these performances ain't gonna last very long before fans are gonna be unrested and fed up. And I probably will as well. So on to the next half. Also, I can't lie, if I don't see Mason Mount or Broha come on in the second half within the next 15 minutes, if nothing changes, I'll be very disappointed because nothing's got going. This is what it shows, this is what shows people call for Mount to not be played. They say Mount shit, Mount ain't good enough. Mate, look how slow we look when, when Mount ain't playing. No force of play, no, no creation, nothing. Look, zero shots on target, four shots, hardly any created chances. That's what Mount gives us. So all those people that hate on Mount, they need to fucking open their eyes. And yeah, Broha needs to give an opportunity as well from his performance that he came on the other day. He was better than anyone on the pitch for literally a 30 second burst of run. So yeah, that's to be added as well.
Come on! Come on! Come on, it's Yells! Oh, mate, what a fucking second half performance that was. Fucking hell. If you talk about contrast of halves, that was one of them. Uh, just needed that kick up the bum, man. I think the substitutions today that came on, Ben obviously hasn't really featured in and started, started many games, but um, he came on, made an instant impact. Run him down hard. Havertz, Mount, Broha, all come on. All gave that energy that we needed from the first half that we were, was lacking. Uh, good intensity to the game, forced the issue when we went 1-0 down. Heads never dropped for once. Like The mentality of the side I've questioned over the past couple of weeks, where when we go 1-0 down, off we go behind. I haven't seen that grit and fight in us, but the fans got behind them today. Uh, the substitutions were made at a good enough time. Uh, they turned the game around. Havertz and Ben Chilwell's turned it around. But um, yeah, just such a poor first half performance. And I can tell that Tuchel's trying to work with something. He's trying to try certain things out. He's just got his fresh squad. Fafana's made his debut today. Thankfully, he's got a win under his belt. Thiago Silva again, always the Rolls Royce. And yeah, I just I think we got away with one. I'll, I'll be honest, very very be honest. I think we got away with one. I'm I can't be too disheartened. As much as I think Mendy was a bit at fault for the first one, I think the. The, the punch that he gave away for the corner was a bit too easy. Uh, I don't know what he's flapping out of the back stick. And then for the second goal, we got away with murder. Uh, I, I must say that there's, I don't really think that could be a foul. Like he, he's, he's ran into the player after the ball's been played and he can't really move himself out of the way of that. I'll be very, I'll be very brutally honest from what I saw from the VR, from the screens anyway, from the replay. But yeah, got away with one. But um yeah, just thankful that we got three points for once. We, 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 I knew it would be a struggle for the early start of the season, getting players in late and not having everyone ready, fit and available and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But, yeah, 100%, like, it, we, we, we were going to hit a rough patch and we, we, we need to get the team gelled. Like, we never really had an earlier start to the pre-season like Arsenal did, but... It's, it's, it's slowly coming together. Hopefully Tuchel's got his, got his signings in now and now he can try and find a system to work with these players because sometimes today Loftus-Cheek didn't... I've always called Loftus-Cheek a bit of a nosebleed player. Like he's very good on the ball. Very good when he's carrying the ball up into the last third of the pitch. But when he gets to that last third, always a bit of a nosebleed. Doesn't know what to do up there. Doesn't find the right passes. Isn't that creative. But yeah, second half performance from the boys that come on. They need to kick up their bum from the past couple of performances. So, yeah, that's what we needed. But um, thankfully, my prediction was wrong. 2-1 uh, win. Uh, hopefully, this can be replicated in the next game. So, yeah, I can't be too disheartened. It's a good three points today. So, up the Chelsea.